Hey guys, um, it's me again, Lauren. Um, I know I said that I would record a, another video at the end of October, um, reviewing all the books that I did from my last book haul, but I couldn't wait until then. I really wanted to share with you guys some new books that I got this week, actually. Um, a couple I ordered off of Amazon, love Amazon.com, and I got them for a penny. Um, and then three that I actually got for free. And because I'm a Barnes & Noble employee, um, I just found out that sometimes we get books sent to us by public, different public publishing houses, not all books, but certain books, um, that they'll send to us for free and the employees can pick up and read for free and keep if they would like um, before they come out. So we get to read certain books before they come out. So I wanted to share with you guys and I think I might add it to my list for next month and possibly review because some of these books will come out at the beginning of next year. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump right in and share some books with you and just let me know if you're curious about any of the books that I talk about and um, I'll add them in my next book haul. Also for my December book haul. If anyone has any recommendations of really good Christmas holiday reads, um, I would love to hear your comments because I want to read a really good holiday book and I have never read a really good holiday book. So um, just leave your recommendations at the bottom and I will be sure to check them out. All right. So this first one I ordered off of Amazon. It is called The Cranford Chronicles by Elizabeth Gaskell. Um, I read the BBC series, I mean I saw the BBC series, um, the BBC like mini series on, on this book and I absolutely loved it. The characters were really funny and um, very charming and it, pretty much what it is, it's about a small town and um, small town in England um, at the turn of the 18th century um, no 19th century sorry 19th century and it's just about this town growing and changing and the people in this town this town and it's really cute if you haven't seen the BBC series I would highly suggest it I'm hoping the book is as good as the BBC series if not better um, I've heard some different things on it read some different reviews certain people love it certain people didn't like it um, and were disappointed with the fact that you know, the BBC series wasn't anything like the book, but I'm really excited to give it a try. And again, I bought it off of Amazon. It was a penny, and plus shipping and handling, it was $4. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. So, definitely excited. Another one I got off of Amazon. Um, this is a classic, a Russian classic, and I've always been curious to read it. It's very thick. But it's Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. Um, one of my really good friends back in high school read it and she really enjoyed it. So I'm really curious to give it a try. I've heard different things, again, that it was a really good book, that it wasn't, it was dense. and um, So I'm really excited to read it. If you guys have read any of these books, these classics, I would love to know what you thought about them. Just comment below. Um, and I want to know what you think because it's my first time and this book is really thick like I'm a little I'm a little nervous in reading it it's like 800 pages but I'm excited as well so and again I got it for a penny on Amazon including shipping and handling it was only four dollars these next three books I got for free at Barnes and Noble and again some of these books have not come out yet I think one of them is out I'm not exactly sure I think it comes out next month beginning of next month um, but this first one doesn't come out till January. So it's called The World We Found, and it's set in Bombay during the 1970s, um, and these women at a university. That's all I really know um, that it's about. I don't really know anything else, because obviously I haven't read it, and I'm just going by reading the inline but it looks really good it looks like a you know short read but really good read and I'm very excited because it's not out yet so if you guys want me to read this next book haul do a book review on this just let me know another book I got that doesn't come out till January is called The Crown um, and this one looks really interesting as well it takes place in London um, during the in 1537 and I think it has to do with um, it, it has to do with a nun, a Dominican nun, and she goes on this journey to get a crown. And I guess it has it ties in with um, some biblical biblical um, stories 
and being a Christian, I'm kind of curious as to read this. I mean, it's written from a secular point of view, but I figured I'd give it a shot and see how it is. I'm a little wary, but um, I'm hoping it'll be a good read and I can, you know, tell fact from fiction. So, I mean, it's, I, I'm not, I don't think I'll have that much of a problem reading it. So, again, it's kind of a smaller read compared to the <laughs> Leo Tolstoy book, um, but it looks really good. This other book, I think it is, this comes out next month. I'm not exactly sure, but it is supposedly an international bestseller. Um, the woman who wrote it is from Spain, and it's already um, gotten good reviews in Europe, and apparently it's really big over in Europe, so I'm really excited. Um, I think, again, I think this comes out next month. Um, and as you can see, this is kind of one of the finished books we got, and it's really thick. Again, it's like 600 pages, but it looks really good. It takes place during the Spanish Civil War, and this woman frees, flees from Spain into Morocco, and um, there's a whole love interest, But at, and then um, World War II starts out, and she starts um, tailoring clothes for women that... Um, for eager clientele of the Nazi officials' wives. So, that sounds really interesting. Um, so I'm really excited to read that. Um, so, those are the books for this month, my book haul. If you guys are interested in me doing any sort of reviews on them in the next um, book haul for November, I would be glad to. If you guys have read any of the, you know, the Cranford Chronicles or Anna Karenin, please let me know. And again, if you guys have any suggestions for good holiday reads, I would love to hear about them. So that's it, and I will be sure to have a review at the end of the month for the books I read in the month of October. All right, thanks guys. Bye.